Welcome back. It is your Fielded Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3 on a Tuesday morning, and it's that time of the regular Tuesday setup oh. where we play our travel game, Where in the World. So if you're a traveler or an explorer, this is your time to shine. So we're going to be showing you a few pictures uh, to see if you can guess where in the world our mystery destination is. And this morning, uh, we're looking for the name of a, a, an island in the Middle East. And don't worry, we do make it easy for you. We give you a few helpful hints along the way and invite you to let us know what our mystery destination is on our Facebook page. Maybe you even know someone who's been there before. Share your experiences with us. Don't be shy. We love to involve ourselves in all of your challenging travel adventures. All right. Take Let it the away, games sir. Begin. Dun, dun, dun. So, this island forms part of one of the largest man-made islands in the world, covering a whopping 560 hectares of land, which means that more than 800 soccer fields could fit on this island. Now, sure. This island is home to one of the most luxurious hot hotels in this part of the world, which is saying a lot. In fact, it is managed, and this is a big one, by Kersner International Holdings, South African accountant and business magnate Sol Kersner's business empire. You can also experience this world-class hotel by booking luxury, deluxe, and executive suites by spending between 8780 and 17 600 rand. Yeah. Now, while you're there, you can also visit the water park, which is well known for its leap of faith water slide, which is a 30 meter long slide and includes an underwater trip uh, with lagoon sharks as well that you can experience. I was just looking at the what? shadow of the shark over no, my shoulder. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. okay. Another fun fact is that the first monorail in the Middle East runs straight through this island. Okay, now the, here's your last little hint. Uh, there is a six-lane subsea tunnel that has been yeah. built to connect the spine of the island to the crescent. And the tunnel is uh, 1.4 kilometers long, 40 meters wide, and 25 meters below sea level. That's crazy. A modern marvel. It sounds <laughs> absolutely awesome. Now, I actually really do, would like to go to this particular place. But you can enjoy the flying experience even more when heading um, to Dubai to get to that part of the world by routing through London and spending a few days in the Royal City. You could collect over 10,000 Avios in the, the process. Flying with British Airways, you collect one Avios for every mile flown. You get extra Avios when you fly in premium cabins as well, and you can collect at least 500 Avios for every booking that you make. So you can probably rack up a couple of tens of thousands of Avios. Just like win-win situation come all on, over, come right? Come on. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So let us know on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3. Let us know where in the world, what is the name of our mystery destination? All right, Dubai. Well, it might be a young, fast developing city, but it's similar to most large cities with regards to having distinct areas. In this case, um, a part known as Old and a part known as New Dubai. Indeed. The area known as Old Dubai first began to grow around the creek and was the beating heart of this import export industry. Today, well, it serves as a popular stop for tourists and with so much to explore. I think Ewan couldn't wait to really sink his hands into this one. 